Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome to new, any new viewers. And like I do every time I do a video, I'm going to show y'all what we're going to be using for this project. And if you follow me on social media, which the links are down below, you'll have seen a list of these items. You can also get that list on the community tab. Alright, so the first thing we're going to be using excuse me, is this... Um, plaque, sorry, this, this wooden, it's actually a shelf, it's a two pack of shelves, and I like to use these to make signs and stuff like that because of the size, it's the perfect size for mine, so, it just lets you know all these items came from Dollar Tree except for spackle, but you can find spackle at Dollar Tree, well, anyway, so, like I said, just a two pack of shelves, alright, so we're also going to be using this ribbon, and again, I got it from Dollar Tree. You do not have to use purple if you don't want to. You can use whatever color you think will fit with the stuff we're doing, but I'm using purple because I think it'll work. And of course, like I said, spackle. You can get spackle from Dollar Tree. This I got from Walmart because at the time, my Dollar Tree did not have spackle. We're also going to be using this welcome sign that I got from Dollar Tree. I got this from the clearance bin because it was broke, but I wasn't planning on just hanging it. I was planning on making it something else so it didn't bother me that it was broke. All right, you're going to need four or at least three um, of the tower blocks. Or you can, if you can just find some piece of spare wood that's about the same height. And you don't want them too big because of where we're going to be putting them. I forgot something else. I gotta find it. Anyways, um, we're also going to be using... Um... I'm going to be using pink. This is vinyl. This is permanent vinyl from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using the color pink. I think it goes really well with the rest of the stuff. Of course, um, I'm going to be using my miter shears, which I actually got these off Timo. And I'm going to be using them for the blocks. And of course, scissors and glue. And you might you want to use a tape measure and a pencil for the tower blocks because you're going to be cutting. Alright, so let's get started. Alright y'all, so the very first thing I want to do is I want to spackle these holes because I need, I want it to be, I want it to dry. So I want to go ahead and get that out of the way. And then while it's drying, I could do some of the other parts. So... You want to, and all I want to tell y'all is that you want it to be dry before you move on to the next step, but I never tell y'all, like, I mean, I never tell y'all what it should look like when it's dry. So, with this, this one is actually a, um, I don't think it takes too long to dry. I'm sorry. I was trying to think how to say it. But um, it's got an indicator. It goes from... Oh, my brain's not working. It goes from the pink color 
to white when it's dry. So, then the Dollar Tree one, it just says paintable in minutes. So, and that there's no sanding required in this, but I haven't used it yet, so I don't know. So, but anyways, we will let that dry. And while it's drying, we will move on to the next step. And that is, oops, I'm sorry, y'all. That is going to be prepping the stuff. Now, I forgot to mention in the um, list of items that you might want to use a pair of pliers to help you with this stuff. It just makes it easier to unhook. So, you can do that. So, um, give me a second, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, once you get that done, again, you can move on to the next step, which, if you get the butterfly, or you do not have to do this, I don't want to use, I don't want to leave this on here, so I'm going to attempt to take it off. It really shouldn't be that too hard. And I don't want to break it because I want to reuse it if I can. And if not, well then, oh well. I can still use some of the stuff for something else. But I want to take this off. And like I said, I'm trying to keep from breaking it because I did want to use this on something else. So, I'm just trying to be careful. Alright, so I was able to say that I think it's really cool. That's why I wanted to do it on something else. Anyways, so that is prepped. And then we'll move on to the next piece. Now, you can do this while it's drying. It's not a big deal. It's not going to interfere. I'm going to cut out the vinyl for this. So, this isn't even 7 inches, but I'm going to go ahead and do 7 just to make sure there's some give. And 5 and a half. So, 7 inches and 5 and a half. So, like I said, I picked pink. Um, give me a second. Now. It curls up and does what it wants. going to do is I'm going to take and I'm just going to draw a line all the way up and it moves a little. There we go. Sorry about that, y'all. Come on. That's fine. Oh. 
Now, that is five and a half. And I said this way is seven. So I'm going to take, if I can do it, sorry. Let me get my pencil ready. I'll, I need one that um doesn't close up like that. And mark the seven. And then I'm going to do the same thing I did with this one. I'm going to use use it from this side though because the other side is not even. And I'm gonna mark that, and then I'll cut it. All right. So. Give me a second, y'all. Alright, so that is cut and ready for the wood once it's dry. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step. And if you're using the butterfly, this should be fine for the wing, top of the wings, the reg, the full one. But down here, as you can see, it just would not work. So I want to take and go to about right here. And then that way it is covered by the whole thing. All right. So I want to measure that. Just so y'all know, probably gonna be really hard, but I'll do it this way. That is the big line between a fourth and three eighths. So just to so let y'all know. halfway between a fourth and three eighths so I'm gonna mark that and then I'm gonna use my miter shears to cut it all right that's one I'm gonna do the same with this one And now we can move on to the next step once the wood is the spackling dry because that's all that we need to do. All right, y'all, you know how it goes. After you, after it dries you, if you use this, um, you sand. If you use the Dollar Tree one, it says you don't have to, so you'd have to check that out because I don't know. But I'm sanding mine right now. and I'm going to go ahead and sand it, y'all.
also, you can go ahead and sand the pieces that you cut just so they are nice and smooth and not jagged. And now we'll move on to the next step. All right, so the next step is to take the vinyl and put it over here. And I should have mentioned, and I forgot to, if you do not want to use vinyl, you can simply paint it. That is a step you can also use. I wanted to use vinyl, so as soon as I um, get it off, we'll put it on there. Now I cleaned off my um, board before I put the vinyl down. But it doesn't necessarily mean I got all the stuff off because it looks like it's gonna, it has some stuff under it. So you might want to try cleaning yours again. But I'm just gonna go with it and hope for the best, y'all. Besides some little bumps, it's not gonna hurt it said it before and I'll keep saying it all right so now that it's on there I'm going to have to cut the extra off give me a second y'all so I'm going to take my exacto knife and I'm going to cut You can also use a craft knife if you don't have an X-Acto knife. Probably even get away with using scissors. And you just take it and trim all four sides. And there you go. It is on there. And now we can move to the next step. Alright, so the next step is going to be the ribbon, and I'm just going to cut me out some to hang, and I'm not going to, I don't really measure, I just do the length I want, excuse me, but I'll tell, I will tell you how long this is, <laughs> sorry y'all, I really need one that does not jump back as I've said. All right, this is a little, this is about 12 and a half inches. You do not have to do that, of course. Like I said, this is how long I want it to be. Now, excuse me. I said hot glue and I do use hot glue, but I want to use this for the ribbon. I will still use hot glue on the other piece, but this is double-sided tape and I want to use that now I'm gonna put it like this and we should be good to go until I screw up and decide not to put it like that, y'all. I've done that before. Thought I was doing it the right way. And it came off the wrong way. So, let me get this double sided tape. The one I want. Alright, so I'm gonna stick this here. Let me 
ini kita taruh So happy if I had me and Jean. Alright, so that's all. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to stick it here. And there we have the hanger. And it works really well. Hopefully it stays up. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Alright. So now we're going to move on to the next step, which is a very simple step. We're going to take and we're going to add our butterfly to the thing. And I'm going to say this right now. Let me check this again. If you cut it. At the halfway point between the fourth and three eighths, watch this, y'all. It hides right behind there, and I, I wasn't even attempting that, but it works really well for that. So that's how we're gonna do it. I just want to show y'all. How we're gonna do this. See that? It's gonna look really good once we glue it down. So, I'm gonna take my first piece and I'm gonna add my hot glue. And I just wanna glue it right there. And I'm gonna do the same for the next piece. Now, you can use other glue too. I would not recommend hot glue for outside if you live in the south. It gets way too hot. And then this piece I'm going to take for the wing, and I'm going to glue it a little ways down, but I'm going to make sure you can't see it. That's the plan anyways. Ah! It ran for me. Oh no, it ran for me. That means I'm going to have to re-glue it because... This glue glues, dries pretty fast. So, I don't want any problems. I don't like that spot. I'm sorry y'all, I'm having difficulties here. Give me a second. Now that the four pieces are glued, I'm gonna real quick put glue on this back spot. And then I'm gonna flip it over. And I'm gonna set it down. And I'm gonna press. And I do it quickly because like I say, and I'm sure y'all know, Hot glue dries fast, so if you take your time, you won't be able to connect it to it. And that is it. And I think it came out looking absolutely gorgeous. And if you don't like these holes, you can hide them with something. You could put like little ribbons, excuse me, for bows on it. And I think that'd be really cute. But I don't mind it, and this is what I wanted to do. Sorry. So that's exactly why I went that way. The only thing I changed was I tried a different glue on the back just to see if it'll hold. And I love it. All right, y'all. I will see y'all next time on the next video. But just a reminder, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. All right, bye.